Now let us look at what this uh, step into, step over and step out is all about. Say for example, if we are using step into, what happens is when you click here, this does nothing but executes your code line by line. So as you can see, the moment I'm pressing step into, it executes the code line by line. And you know, as you can see on the left hand side, these values gets updated automatically. So you can step into and execute the code line by line. See, this is very important because when you are kind of testing for errors or uh, trying to understand whether your code is running properly, you know, you must use a step into. I pretty much use a step into every now and then to understand whether my code is running properly or not. Uh, likewise, you know, once you have stepped into the subroutine, the other options also gets activated. So this is step over and step out. Step over may have a very limited use here because uh, we step over is specially used when you are probably using some loops. Uh, say for example, uh, certain conditions with if and you want to get out of that loop. So in that case, you could actually use step over. If you don't have uh, of any kind of loops like that, the step over essentially functions like the step into. So it is actually behaving like step into in this context. So uh, pretty much limited here for the time being. But please remember that this can be used to come out of the loop. Uh, likewise, step out. Step out is nothing but you know you want to come out of the code. So you just click here and you will be directed to the end of the code. So you, you want to come out. This is essentially similar to what we had for reset. If you click reset, you actually come out of the uh, environment and you come back to zero where you want to start your subroutine again. Uh, step over again uh, functions like a similar one. So these are the functionalities about step into, step over and step out. These functions are uh, probably you know uh, very important but uh, they are uh, probably useless if you are not using these things which are called as local windows or immediate windows or maybe watch window. I'll probably you know, explain this with the context of what we are discussing here. Now uh, the moment you are stepping into something see you may want to kind of track what is the update here. So for me to track this I'm actually looking at the left hand side. Now um, probably uh, your update is connected logically through various variables across multiple sheets. So it would be kind of very difficult for you to toggle from A sheet to B sheet, B sheet to C sheet if they are interconnected and there are a lot of variables which are getting updated simultaneously when there are codes running in your environment. You may want all those variables which you want to kind of track here itself within the VB editor. So that's why you may have a locals window. So say for example, I, I'll click here. I'll just, you know, uh, kind of come out of this and start afresh. I'll click on locals window. And uh, uh, the moment I do that, you can see that the local window actually pops up. Now, what does this mean? Uh, let us see if we, if we start this um, step into function. The moment I click on step into, this basically gives me the name of the two variables x and y which have been defined and this tells me that these are integers and um, currently their value is uh, zero. So let me uh, step into that as per the code and now the x is defined as cell 11 dot value. So let's see the left hand side x is basically 17,000. So here can you see that x is now 17,000? So this gets activated and is now displayed as a worksheet uh, for us to debug. Let me again step into. Now in this code, it gets updated from 17,000 to 18,000. And let me uh, come out of it. What about Y? Y is 34 as of now. And you can kind of uh, play with this and see how they are moving. Uh, as and when you actually execute the command. So when you step into, you would also require these local windows. So that's why these are very helpful. And if I do it again, you can see that you can uh, see the code running and simultaneously its values are changing. So pretty useful.